All right, what up, y'all? So, uh, it's a Mopar day. The so some sort of way, the can't really see it, but radiator hose down there wasn't clamped on all the way somehow. So that came off. Car ran hot. Put it back on. Filled it up. Everything seemed good. And then this piece right here decided to break. So uh, this is the new piece right here. I got it hooked in right here for now, so I hadn't changed the back two yet. But what it is is the plastic on this T some sort of way broke. And uh, yeah, then it got the shooting, cooling, and steam out the back. So had to park it for a second. So got the part here. Uh, I think it was part 626320, something like that. It's two of them. It's one under it, which is right down here. I move this out the way so you can see. Yeah, so that second one, that one isn't leaking though, because the leak was coming from the above. So, but that part is six two six three one nine, the bottom one. So, part number's about the same, but uh, nobody had it. I uh, ended up having to get the part from the dealership. So, got that out the way. Price was about the same anyway, like seventy dollars or so. So, now uh, all you need is. Some pliers and get the clamps off, get this on, and then the same deal back there. It's a clamp on this side, and then it's a clamp at the back of the engine, which is going to be the tricky one, which is right here. So that'd be a little tricky to grab. I'd probably get this wire out the way or whatever, but it's just those three clamps and the fact that you might lose some coolant. So other than that, it's pretty straightforward, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can reach back here good enough to get these clamps loose and swap this part out. Alright, so, new part is on. Uh, hopefully yours worked out better than mine, because this hose was stuck on here, like, stuck, stuck. So, I ended up uh, having to cut that off, like, cut it and kind of tear it up to get it off. Same with this side, so... Had to kind of rip that to get it off but yeah so this is where the problem was this plastic had broke kind of like this so couldn't really see it from the front but that's where everything was leaking out of and uh on the way of getting it out is when it just broke it all the way so that way i can kind of focus on one hose at a time getting this off but yeah this plastic is what broke so new piece is on this is all the dealer, whatever. I don't know, but that's on the uh, head of running. It's full, so everything is doing pretty good. Uh, if you don't know, this takes a certain type of antifreeze. I think it's like HOAT, like H O A T or something like that. So I don't have any of that, so filled it up with some water and uh, take it by dealership one day sometime soon get them to really i guess just drain it and uh add some some antifreeze in there but should have did that when uh when we got the part but i forgot about it so you know one of those things but it is fixed and uh yeah side note i didn't know the chargers had that uh that dash knocking noise thought I escaped it but apparently chargers got it too so go figure